Battles, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and this is just going to be a little quick record here. I know I said I'd do something else first, but this is just because, well, as you can see, it is the first day of collections. I've reloaded that uh, that old save, and you may have already noticed I have zero monies. What I've been doing, um, I reloaded that save, I had a few days to kill before getting to um, the, the day that I want to record. I've sold every single item for a single pound, or picks, or whatever they're calling these things. And then someone came in yesterday and went, Hey, I've got this baked yam, do you want to buy it from me? And I just gave him all the money I had. Which wasn't even the full market value for the yam, so I still bought it below value. Which was quite amusing, but that was all the money I had to spend, so... So I have absolutely no money. In terms of stock, I've got a shell and a baked yam. And maybe some slime, some chests. I've got basically nothing to work with. We're going to see what happens if you've got no money. I'm guessing it's just a game over. Um, but I'd be curious to know if they'll take stock first. So if you was only 100 underneath, for example, perhaps it would just go, well, we'll just take an item of equivalent value and see what that does. But for now... So let's see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the main menu. Just, yeah. Okay, we don't need to... I discovered there's a skip tutorial button. I know it's been telling me that for a while, but it doesn't tend to pop up during the tutorials. So, so yeah, as you can see, I've got one shell necklace. I've got a baked yam. An apple. And just at some slimes, basically. That's, I believe this is... Oh, I believe this is all the stuff I've got. Yeah, all of the slime on the shelves. Yeah, so that's it. This is the entirety of the stock I have on me. If I sell all of this, there's absolutely no way in hell I can make the 10 grand I need. Funny thing is, all the stuff I've been doing, because I've been selling a lot, I still get a high score at the end of the day. It still does well done or have exceeded expectations. You want to buy that? Neat. It's yours for a quid, buddy. I, it's clearly not a fair deal. You know the market value of these things. You know that you are ripping off a 12-year-old. You're a bad person. You want to buy a chestnut? Bam, yours for a quid. Especially how much nicer people are when you undersell them all the stuff. Stop dusting to you. Okay, you'd like some food. Um, how about a baked yam? You're the guy I bought this off. Yours for a quid. That'll do, you suppose? Oh, that's the thing. They don't have a... Oh, wow, that's a really, really good deal. You've massively undersold this line. They just have a, yeah, we'll take it line. And I think that is a bit of a design flaw. I think if um, if you've undersold what they're... If they're pre-programmed to go in with a rough... You know, you accept it in between these ranges. If you go below that range, I think their response should indicate, as for for the sake of player learning, indicate that you have undersold that and you could have pushed a bit harder and got a bit more. So you know when you're in the right sort of area and you know when you've gone way too far and you know when you've gone way too low. But then again, it does always tell you the base price. So if you weren't being told the base price, perhaps you don't need that quite so much. Who knows? Whatever. You're a good shopper. Now I'm going to crap shop you. Apple for a penny. Put it in the store. I literally can't afford to buy any more stock either. So. You want a bracelet? I got a necklace. You want to buy that? I know you don't want that. You want a book? Uh, I've got a necklace. Come on, someone buy this stupid necklace off me. What do you want? Some food? Oh, I got an ingredient. Nope, don't need that. Yeah. Why does nobody want the necklace? I can understand no one wanting the slime. The slime is useless. The, the necklace is worthwhile. There you go, buy it for a quid. That seems fair enough. I mean, at one point, I think he walked in and tried to, to get me to buy something off him. 
Um, and I misunderstood what he was doing. I thought he was trying to... Uh, um, I thought he was looking to buy something I had, but actually he was trying to sell me something he had. Uh, so I dropped the price down to a penny, and he was just like, What? No, that's absolutely absurd. How dare you? Walked off, and I was confused for a minute, so... I'm gonna buy a hat. I have a necklace. Yeah, what I've got, mate, is on my shelves. If you're dumb enough to come up asking for more stuff, I'm gonna try and offer you whatever I have. The necklace is literally the closest thing to a hat I have right now. And as I said, do I put slime on your head? Got a piece of armor. I have a necklace. No, of course I bloody didn't. Did you look around the shop at all before asking? Looking for a treasure. How about a necklace? What do you want? You want to buy... You constantly want to buy slime fluid off me. I am legitimately surprised. I'm leveled up because I keep selling things for a quid. It's absurd. I don't get why the slime fluid is selling better than the necklace. Right. Now for the fun bit. So as you can see, I've sold a bunch of items. I... That's acceptable, apparently. I made six quid in profit. That is what tier deems acceptable. Yeah, some aspects of this game need work. Okie dokie. Yep. So, what happens now? I'm afraid this amount of money is insufficient. Of course it is. I'm sorry, but as an agent of term finance, I must now seize this house in order to repay the outstanding debt. What? No, I... I... Receipt's house is a box and a tin can. And so the cute, courageous little heroine was crushed by the cruel bitterness of reality. Wow, why did it have to end in a box? What's in the box? What's in the box? It's receipt. Receipt is in the box. Game over. So yeah, that's the uh, the game over event. Mad. This must be a joke. If I did not know better, I would say you were in a coma. Tia? Huh? Tia? Mm, but I'm asleep. Tia was just a dream, I guess. Demo. A dream so I thought, I mean, I liked... Hmm, pillow. Okinata. No way! <laughs> I didn't shoot the shit. So is that what it means by loop? Mad. Yeah, you still have sleepless paper seats. You are the proprietor of an item shop now. You must learn to be responsible not to take the day away. The right, I need to... I don't quite remember. And you can seem to be awake and sleep at the same time. I wonder if it did not fill me with blind hope with terror. Yesterday we paid our specs and then briefly from the shop. Have you already forgotten? So has it gone back to, like, day two? <laughs> You're a business now. Smile, you... Okay. Right, so if if I don't make enough money, <laughs> it goes, don't worry, that was just a dream. So, so let's see, has it gone back to my save state or has it gone back to day two? It's gone back to day two. Ah, but I still have all the items I had to sell. And it's given me a thousand monies. Oh, that is quite interesting. And it's certainly worth learning that at this stage, rather than um, than getting you know two thirds of the way through the game and discovering. Because so my merchant level hasn't decreased. That has got stayed up at four. I've still got all my items, and I've got a thousand monies. All right, now the judgment. Okay, and uh, now we're back to the. So now I want to keep going. Just see what happens. I choose. Yeah, so all this is stuff we've come, to, come across before. That is an interesting little development. So if I don't make the money, I... S now, I'm, I'd be interested to know whether it always takes me back to, t to day two, or whether it takes me back to the last um, time I paid the debt. So, for example, I've already paid the debt, the that ten thousand debt. So, if I don't make the thirty thousand, does it take me back to day two, or does it take me to um, the 
you know, for the first day after that next debt was paid. That makes sense. Day, uh, day nine. If I'm, are they sort of like considered sort of checkpoints, as it were, for the dream state? I don't know. I guess we can find out next time. I suspect at some point we're definitely going to find out because I say uh, I will not make the the payments if they keep increasing like this. Let's. Uh... So, I... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so. That was with the the previous episode. That's the level we started at. That's the level we ended at. Um, after you know selling all our stuff, I've now reached that same level from this save here by selling everything for a penny. The merchant level seems to go up by selling things, not necessarily by selling them well. That is quite interesting as well. It's an interesting little... So I could, I could up my merchant level quite significantly by selling things for cheap. So if, if I was less profit orientated and more making sure I make the sales, my merchant level will go up quicker. But then I run the risk of not making the... Um, making the payments. But since it will reset and keep the merchant level, I could in theory spam the... Uh, the system by just doing these loops and selling and selling and selling and selling for cheap and crap and so on and so forth. I don't know. Well, I'm going to save over that, because why the hell not? I think my score's reset to zero, though, and it's loop two. Okay, so that's what the loop was about. I assumed it was a new game plus element, and actually loop is how many times have you failed and had to restart. Curious. I... I think I'm going to keep using that, uh, the one that the, the save state that is currently highlighted. I'm going to use that as my experimental playthrough and just use that to find to try and test some mechanics out. And then we will keep following the story in, in number four. So, I, if I play this on my own and try and figure the mechanics out, I will use that playthrough. But I will never get past the day of this one. They're still likely to bugger me up some, because I suspect I'll come across uh, items in this playthrough that I will think is in that one. Anyway, not important. We've seen what happens when you fail. It restarts, and in some ways failure might actually be used to your advantage. Kind of like in um, Dead Rising games, where actually you can play through and fail it, specifically so you can just boost your level and mess around, and then you can eventually throw play through stuff. We'll see. We will very much see. Okay. This video has been about 10 minutes longer than I expected it to be, to be perfectly honest. So there we go. I'm done now. Bye. <laughs>